Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In the last session, we have seen how x and x dash are related to each other in case of combination of translation and rotation. That means coordinate axes are first translated to a point h, comma k. After that, the coordinate axes were rotated by an angle theta that table we got it so leveraging that we will do some simple examples in this particular session let's take this equation so let us say that a particular equation of a curve in the form of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c which is a standard second degree equation is translated to a point 3 comma 4 and rotated by an angle 45 degrees and the transformed equation was obtained as x square plus y square plus 7 root 2 x plus root 2 y minus 11 equal to 0. We have been asked to find out the original equation. So the question is, there is a curve whose original equation we don't know, but it was translated to coordinate axis to 3 comma 4 after that the coordinate axis were rotated by 45 degrees and the transformed equation is this equation we have to find out the original equation of the curve so what we will do to solve this particular problem is first we know that this is a transformed equation and we know the transformed equation will be in form of x dash and y dash so transformed equation will be in terms of x dash and y dash so we have to write x and y in terms of x dash y we have to first write it in terms of x dash y dash because it's a transformed equation so I'll write down the given equation to us is actually x dash square plus y dash square plus 7 root 2 into x dash plus root 2 into y dash minus 11 equal to 0. This is the equation given to us because this is the transformed equation. The transformed equation will be with respect to, to the coordinates x dash and y dash. The coordinates will be x dash y dash in the new system whereas in the old system they are x and y. Now we know the relation how I can represent x dash and y dash in terms of x and h. For that we will leverage the table and we will write down x dash will write down x dash is equal to x minus h into cos theta plus y minus k into sin theta. Similarly y dash equal to minus of x minus h sin theta plus y minus k into cos theta. Since we know the values, we will go ahead and try to substitute them because we know h comma k is 3 comma 4, theta is 45 degrees. So, we will write down x minus h that is x minus 3 into cos 45 which is equal to 1 by root 2 so I can write down x minus 3 into 1 by root 2 plus y minus k that is y minus 4 into 1 by root 2 which is nothing but x plus y minus 7 divided by root 2 so that's the first equation that's x dash in terms of x let us do the other side minus of x minus h that is minus of x minus 3 into 1 by root 2 plus y minus 4 into again cos 45 is 1 by root 2 simplify this we will have 
minus of x so I have y minus x then minus 4 plus 3 that is nothing but minus 1 divided by root 2 so now we got x dash in terms of now we got x dash in terms of x and y dash in terms of y we'll go ahead and substitute in place of x dash and y dash so that we should be able to get our original equation in terms of x and y so let's move to the next step so let's write down we know x dash value so i'll write down x dash equal to x plus y minus 7 by root 2 whole square plus y dash equal to y minus x minus 1 by root 2 whole square plus 7 root 2 into x dash is x plus y minus 7 by root 2 plus root 2, 2 into y dash that is root 2 into y minus x minus 1 by root 2 minus 11 equal to 0 we'll try to simplify this now we know that when i square the denominator here i will get 2 so can i go ahead and write down x plus y minus 7 whole square by 2 plus y minus x minus 1 whole square by 2 and this root 2 this root 2 will cancel can I say 7 into x plus y minus 7 similarly root 2 root 2 will cancel can I say plus y minus x minus 1 minus 11 equal to 0 let's go to the next step now we will write down x plus y minus 7 whole square we won't write it as we won't take it as a plus b plus c whole square instead of that we will take x plus y as a and 7 as b and this is a minus b whole square so that it will be easy because i see x plus y and y minus x here so my next step will be i'll write down 1 by 2 into x plus y minus 7 whole square can i say x plus y whole square that is my a square plus 7 square minus 2 into 2 into 7 into x plus y that will take care of that then similarly i have another one that is half into y minus x whole square plus 1 square minus 2 into y minus x after that i have plus into 7x plus y minus 7 into 7 i am trying to separate them plus y minus x minus of 1 minus 11 is equal to 0 the next step will be if i take half of x plus y whole square half of y minus x whole square and try to add them you will get x square plus y square because okay that's nothing but y it is like that x plus y whole square x minus y whole square is a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square which is 2 into a square plus b square you are dividing by 2 so that will become a square plus b square plus 7 square by 2 that is 49 by 2 then next time 2 and 2 will cancel minus 7 into x plus y plus 1 minus 2 2 will cancel i'll have minus of y minus x then plus 7 into x plus y minus 49 plus y in minus x minus 1 minus 11 equal to 0 now let's simplify this let's cancel now what i can cancel cancel 7 and x plus y y minus x y minus x so simplify we'll have x square 
plus y square 49 by 2 49 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 50 by 2 so can I say plus 25 minus 49 minus 1 minus 11 equal to 0 which is x square plus y square 20 minus 49 minus 1 is minus 50 minus 61 plus 25 so I can say minus 36 equal to 0 so the original equation is x square plus y square minus 36 equal to 0 so these are the this is a small problem which I created for you I, I did not find them in textbook most of the textbooks combination problem so what I took is you can also do this what I took is I took one equation I transformed it then I applied the again same formula and cross verified whether am I getting the original equation so that's how we are able to do this problem in the next session we will do another example in which we will have original equation we will just try to transform the equation and find out in terms of x dash and y dash exactly the reverse of this so i'll catch you in the next session thanks for your time and support